I think over the last half century, you have had a growth in the sense of, to which people are interconnected across borders. And so you can think of the environmental movement, where being a Canadian or an American or someone from China or someone uh, from Ghana is not very important because the issues that are being confronted are so big that we really have to reimagine ourselves as citizens of the earth. Those kind of things are incredibly important for some of the big challenges that are facing us into the future, especially around the environment. But for many of the day-to-day -day things that really impact people, whether they have a job, whether their kids are going to a good school, whether the neighborhood is safe, those kind of things, citizenship in a traditional nation-state formulation remains really, really important because those global citizens in other countries are not going to help me change my schools if I don't like my schools. And so we're at this moment, I think, where global citizenship and the sense of being connected to other people is really increasing. But for so many things in our everyday lives, your national citizenship matters so much more. And I think the best indication of this is for people who don't have that national citizenship and therefore are always at the risk of deportation and exclusion. So in the United States context, for example, if you are a permanent resident of the United States, you have legal papers, you're allowed to be living in the United States, and you commit a crime that is um, within sort of a, a range of different crimes of which you could be deportable, which includes some what some people might consider minor drug offenses, you will be deported. And even if you came to the United States at the age of two and you speak English and you've gone through the entire school system, you will be sent back to the country of your parents or your, your country of citizenship. And so you can imagine that to say that global citizenship is alive and well means nothing in that context when you are being excluded from a country because you don't have the right legal status.